All right, fix and flippers. These are the strategic gamblers. Okay. These are the people, I would call them the jokers. Even though they don't really play no, they don't play a lot of games. They got their own point. I think that these are some of the most on point people in the game when it comes to real estate and real estate, real estate investing. You know what they're doing. Um, and they need to in order for them to make a profit. When I say strategic gamblers, I'm talking about equity plays. Their main concern is equity. Okay. So to understand what equity means, you got to understand what, what equity is duh and so equity is the difference between the value of the property and what you owe on it all right let me say this again for example say the house is worth a hundred thousand dollars and you paid a hundred thousand dollars for it and you have ninety thousand dollars of debt meaning that you got a loan for ninety thousand dollars and you paid off ten thousand dollars in the down payment well as it stands you have $10,000 worth of equity. It's what the property is worth, the, what you paid for it, and what you owe for it. The, the difference between the two is the equity. So what a fix and flipper is doing is they're playing the equity game. And so what that means is that they're going to buy a property from a wholesaler, okay, and say they got to get it really, really cheaply. Then they go in and say that, all right, I got to get $35,000 to put into this property to put it, to get it at ARV or after repair value, okay? This is, the ARV is what I think or around what I could sell it for after it's all perfectly done, okay? And so how the fix and flipper thinks is, all right, I got to get this property at this price to then sell it for this price. And then I'm going to collect the, the difference in between after the rehab's done. Let's get, do a really quick example. Um, I buy a property for from a wholesaler at, one hundred thousand dollars. I then know I have to put twenty thousand, thirty thousand dollars into the property. Let's keep it at thirty thousand. All in, one hundred thirty thousand um, dollars plus fees, one hundred forty thousand dollars. If I could sell this property for two fifty, that means that after the one forty, I will have a one hundred ten thousand dollars spread. This is the equity game. Now, if it goes back to say two twenty five. I will still be safe in the fact that knowing I will be getting a, what, $85,000 spread or 80000 whatever those numbers are, okay? Um, that would be one, one, 115 minus 140. I don't know why I chose that number. It was, that's like 15, let's do it, 16, 75, $75,000 spread, okay? So this is the game of the fix and flippers. Um, a lot of people who fix and flip, they do what's called a burn, burn. When I, when I first started real estate, I thought this was the hardest thing in the world. Because it sounds cool. Burr, bro. I'm doing a burr. People, you, I walk around, people will be like, hey, I'm doing a burr. Yeah, you don't know what. He's like, yeah, the burr. <laughs> B-R-R-R-R-R-R is what it stands for. It's buy, rehab, renovate, or buy, rehab, um, refi, repeat. Sorry, no, that's not right. It's buy, rehab, rent, refi, repeat. That's it. Okay. This is for people who want to build a portfolio. A lot of some fix and flippers don't want to do that. They just want to fix and then flip it on the market and then just keep keep going. Okay. This is wholesaling 2.0. Okay. As you can tell, there's there's levels of this. Wholesalers sell to fix and flippers. Wholesalers need to get it at an even lower price than fix and flippers. Okay. For them to get a spread. Fix and flippers know their number. And for them to get, fix a fix and flip a property that they feel comfortable, they have to hit these numbers. And so they're going to probably sell this property on the, on the open market, you know, and collect that spread at the end. Now, with the fix and flipper who's not doing the burn, this is also another model that's just going to have to, you got to continue to rock on. You got to continue to fix and flip. You got to continue to move on because if not, then your whole operation is going to stop. You're, you have no money coming in. Okay. Fix and flippers are more investors, I will say, um, because they are looking at equity plays. They're looking at the market. They're looking at investing their property they're investing their thirty thousand dollars they got into it forty thousand for another for 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 a return that's investing one-on-one you know put it in to get back out wholesalers aren't doing that they're, they're not putting in any money down so for the most part so um yeah fix and flip is one-on-one